I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 109 of Terminator. Build the T-800 from Hachette and Studio Canal. Uh, this is the half-scale Terminator, and you know by now, this is 109 issues in. If you haven't been watching at least some up till now, then you really should, because basically we've built the whole thing. Uh, this time we're continuing building some of the base work. Now we get in this issue a quite a nice half-scale that's quite... Yeah, the, the painting isn't the best. It's a bit... Yeah, I think it's meant to be sort of dull and scarred and then just sort of dry brushed over with a bit of scuffing, which works. It's fine. You can leave it like that. The skull on that I'm going to be doing some more work with. Whether I repaint it, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I like the dark look because it goes quite well with that, but I don't know. Having it more of a, a ebony sort of skull colour might work better. I'm going to look into that and do some research. So we'll see how we're getting on with the build so far. Uh, this time we're attaching an LED to its housing and connecting it to the base. We're not actually, because we haven't got another base to attach it to. We're, we're yeah, we're making another LED and then doing some other stuff. Uh, so let's go on with that. The first part is exactly the same as I've done a couple of issues ago with the LED spotlight. These look like they're going to be really nice and powerful. I don't know. I haven't been able to test them yet. The connector is different to the, the other light connectors, so I couldn't test it. But uh, yeah, so we've got the connection pieces for that, the lens, uh, the screws, and the screw for the bracket. I'm just going to go ahead and build it in exactly the same way as the other one was. It says put that on there, but it doesn't really mean that because it's going to fall off as soon as you start playing with this bit. So get the wire through there. Then you can worry about getting the spotlight in the right place. Having the wire doubling back under it. Because it's going to go on there. Like that. And it's going to be held in place with four screws. First one in there. And just turned a little bit. And then get another one. And held in there as well. Always best to make sure you get all the screws lined up first before you tighten down the first one. Because tightening down the first one, if everything's not quite right, then you might get the first one in, you might get the second one in, you'll probably get the third one in, but the fourth one probably just won't line up properly. So we'll just get all of those in the right places. And then when they're all there, we can tighten them down. That's nice and easy. So that's all the way through to step four already. If I can get the last one done. There we go. Let me turn the page and continue on with step five is putting the lens in. This one, this one might click in, the other one didn't really. So we're gonna listen really hard for this. That did, I heard that click. And that's in the same amount as the first one was over there. So I'm happy with that. That's worked quite well. Uh, then we're threading this through here again. Connecting that up over there, making sure that we're not putting the wire through the hole. The nut will go on first. Uh, it does actually say... It, it, actually, yes, it does say put the nut in first. I was going to say I, I would always do it that way anyway, but there we go. And then you can hold that in place with the finger while you're putting the screw through the other side. And then you should be able to feel that tighten through and just touch your finger on the other side, just like that. So that will give us, again, movement here, a little bit of movement rotation by the time it's fitted to the base. And that is that, adjusting the angle of the searchlight very slightly when that goes in there. Now we've got a little bit more to do with this, with the other, the old part of the base, this round section over here. Uh, and this, which is quite a nicely made. That is plastic, but would fool me as being metal. I'm very happy. They've done a very good job of doing the weathering on this. It looks just right to me. Uh, so that is going to sit in there just like that. It's just adding the little bit of uh, niceness and happiness to the build. But I'm not going to glue that in place because I might well be coming back and doing some more touch-up painting on the base. And I don't want to have to paint around that when that's fine as it is. But the surrounding area might need some attention. So I'm just going to leave that sitting there. It probably doesn't ever need to be glued in. It's not like this is going to be moved around a lot. So your your mileage may vary, but for me, I'm quite happy to leave that 
like that. Now we're not putting the skull on this area or that spotlight on that area. So that is the stage complete for this, this stage so far. Um, the movie that we're looking at, Sci-Fi Cinema Legends, is Logan. I have seen that one. Only the once. I'll have to go back and watch it again. I quite enjoyed that. That's the one with the uh, old uh, Patrick Stewart in it. Yeah, Charles Xavier. Uh, neurological Degeneration. Okay, it's about brains and Alzheimer's and things. Fair enough. And next time we're getting another base plate, which is good. This is where the skull is going to fit onto, and a couple more uh, detritus, detritus of uh, things to fit on it and just make it look nice. And another hole looks like for the the back panel the post to fit into and a bracket so we're going to be attaching the two of them together by the looks of it so yes that was that uh, that was 109 i hope you're enjoying the build uh, do let me know in the comments i mean it's a bit late for changing the format or anything but let me know if you're enjoying it what you like what you don't like and we'll get happy as we go on so thank you for watching 109 i shall see you soon for 110 stay safe bye bye for now